This video is sponsored by Renaissance Bank, the best bank in the South. Check them out at renaissantnation.com. Hey, what's up? Matt Wyatt here. Transfer, coming to Mississippi State from Penn State. Previous relationship with Joe Moorhead. All that stuff. Tommy Stevens. And you know, the thing about it is, this kid Tommy Stevens, he's not like a true just kind of, you know, one-fit quarterback. Throw it around the field, little zone read, always taking snaps. He's done everything. He's taken a lot of handoffs. He's caught passes. He's just an athlete. So it's an entirely different um, experience in trying to kind of break down his game after the news of the transfer. So what do we see on film? Let's take a look at a handful of pass plays, like four pass plays that you can find you know, video of a run play here or there, which you know he can do. You know you can, you know, run the ball out of the zone, read stuff. But all the other ways that they used him at Penn State, handing him the ball and then throwing him passes out of the backfield, running routes and everything else. So a few plays of each of those four kind of aspects of his game. All right, here's a typical zone run play. He's in here at quarterback. You're going to bring the back across. He's going to fake it to him or read him and then keep behind and power this or trying to get that linebacker out of there on a quarterback keep. And that's what happens. And you see really the ability to run the ball. No question about it. Is an athlete they've used enough different ways. They certainly don't mind him keeping the ball in his own read. And that's apparently the kind of offense he ran in high school really successfully. You know, and on this play, going to bring that left guard out of there. He's leading up kind of on this power. Everybody else is back this way. So he's coming in behind and you'll see the mesh point. His eyes are right here on that front side linebacker. You see him step out. He's definitely gonna keep. It's nice keeping behind it. And what you like right here is he just runs to daylight because these two offensive linemen whiff. So lineman there, lineman there, and there's two defenders that step right up into the hole, and now he's just running to daylight. Not really sure what 51 is doing. He's supposed to be playing defense. <laughs> but it's a touchdown. An example of how they used him, he's lined up at running back right here. You know, beside the quarterback in a shotgun, they're going man to man and throw him a pass out of the backfield. As far as the read goes, you've got four down linemen, you got three in the box and actually uh, another. So just everybody at the line of scrimmage. So seven in the box and it's man to man on everybody. Bump man at the line of scrimmage, you know that. Quarterback's going to read over here to this side and sees linebacker get caught up. So as Stevens releases, you see him reading that next level. Linebacker's trying to go around, and that uh, means that's the right read. On second 10, he's going to catch the ball, but there's your backup QB running routes out of the backfield. Here he is lined up in the backfield again. This time it's a two-back set in the uh, Northwestern game. And he's actually going to run that little zone, read it, so RPO, throw it to him. So again, this is a case where he's an athlete and they're looking for ways to kind of utilize his ability and they line him up back there as a running back. And again, a quarterback's kind of reading everything. I believe it is RPO. When both linebackers fly on the fake and there's nobody in the middle of the field, he's going to pull it and now read it. And so here's Tommy Stevens running a one-on-one -on -one versus who is technically a strong safety. And touchdown. Running routes. Got him lined up in a tight slot, motion him across. Again, Tommy Stevens, quarterback, but he's doing everything else. Off the fake, he's out of the backfield. They're going to throw it to him, turns it up for a touchdown. You know, coming out of high school, he was a true uh, dual threat out of uh, up in Indianapolis. Originally committed to Indiana, then switched to Penn State. Had offers from Michigan State and BC and Iowa and some of those uh, type schools as well, but he was a three-star recruit. Numbers in high school, pretty meager passing the ball. The last two years, it combined for like 3,500 yards, a pretty good touchdown to interception ratio, but nothing that wows you, like not even in the same realm as the high school numbers of a Keaton Thompson who's already at Mississippi State. Spring game, throwing passes at quarterback. Here he is in the shotgun. They're going vertical on the outside. And we'll play action, stick your foot in the dirt, and then put it out there. Can he throw the deep ball? From the looks of that, he can. And uh, again, it's a pretty good throw. I mean, you're going to start off with kish, cushion up there, so you know you've got to get even, but put it out in front. And uh, makes that decision. I'm going go route, 
location is important. You see here what's great about this, this receiver who's running on the numbers to hold that defensive back in here inside the numbers. And then it's a quarterback's job to throw it out here in that box on the sideline so that the receiver can trail off away from the defender and make the play, and that's a really good throw. Here's an example at quarterback and shotgun, just reading it versus zone, uh, three receiver side, kind of bunched in there. You get a clear out, you get a uh, squirrel route, and then kind of reading it, little choice route by the tight end. He's just going to read that zone coverage, split them, make a throw. Nice and easy first down. Again, it's not much to this play, but what you like is posture um, in the pocket. You like that his eyes are where they're supposed to be. Read that defender on the inside. If he flies out, that's where your route's going to be, and they'll switch it up. And you like this, too, is that it's a quick decision to get rid of the football. And So uh, nice posture, good accurate throw. Another example, he's in the backfield, but not at quarterback. Got him lined up beside the QB in a running back position. Hand him the ball. Make it look like run. It's trick play. If they come up, now you flip it out there for a big play. And again, I think it just kind of speaks to the kind of athlete that he is. Not only can he do it, but they look for some ways to get him involved. Um, and you could certainly see a Mississippi State offense with Joe Moorhead doing the same thing. Here's an example, throwing a deep ball. Uh, they're going to get that vertical in the slot, but you don't really get to see the route. But what you do get to see is watch Stevens step into pressure and throw the ball. It's a really nice job right there and a tough play. Again, if we go back and look, they're going to uh, have somebody slip through right there on a the twist. You got coming inside, twisting around, and they let him through to the inside. And so what you really like is posture right here. He's got pressure about to get hit, but eyes aren't on the defender. Eyes are upfield, thinking touchdown and reading it. And then the ability to make the throw while you get hit. And so you have to like that. Toughness, that's a good sign. Here he is lined up in the slot again. So he's all over the field. Uh, put him in motion. Hand him on that speed sweep. And watch the physical finish of this run. Bumping into guys, running through one at the goal line. And that's a good Iowa defense that he's running through right there. But, you know, again, what quarterback's reading right here, his eyes are on the defender, um, this linebacker who was trailing him, who gets caught up and stays right there. So you get the give. This way you're going to be outnumbered. So it is the right read. He's got a safety flying down in there. at got a free shot at him, but he's got the ability to get to the outside, make him miss. And then physical finish. Kind of reminds you of Fitzgerald right there. And one other example how they used him. This is, again, in the shotgun at two-back set. So he's one of two backs beside the QB. Give it to him. Fake the reverse. Blockers out in front. Kid can really run. So kind of what I see in, in watching the little bit of, you know, film that's out there on Tommy Stevens is he's just a ball player, an athlete. You know, you always hear Joe Moorhead say, you got to have a quarterback who can beat you with his brains, his arm, and his legs. And this is a guy who, you know, he hasn't had much of an opportunity under center at quarterback in his college career. But, man, they figured out ways to get him on the field, which kind of tells me this is a kid who's got a good attitude. They, they like him, obviously, at Penn State. And he's a good enough athlete and tough enough. They want to find ways to get him involved. That's a pretty good sign. And... You know, whether or not this is going to be a, a runaway in a competition, I don't really see it that way. I don't think this is at all like a um, like a Joe Burrow situation last year at LSU. This really does look to me more like there's an opportunity over here with a previous coach that he's familiar with, and he can go inject himself into that competition and see how it shakes out. And I think he looks like the kind of player that, that even if he's not your – every down quarterback if he doesn't win the starting job he might but if he doesn't he looks like the kind of athlete they're still going to put him on the field because joe moorhead's already shown you he likes to try to use two quarterbacks on the field at one time so i think he's going to play now what capacity practice is going to bear that out thanks for watching appreciate that so much and if you like this hit me up on twitter and instagram let me know about it if you have questions or comments 
I'm Radio Wyatt. I always love to hear from you. Appreciate that. And also thanks to Renaissance Bank, the best bank in the South, for sponsoring these videos. Y'all hit them up at renaissancenation.com. All right, see you next time.